day in a row I feel like the kids haven't had school they had a snow day and then we had the day off for Martin Luther King Jr. day and now it's snowing again I'm like if they have another snow day I'm going to lose my mind full disclosure but anyway um, we're off to go see a movie we're gonna go see Doolittle it looked like such a cute kids movie we need to get out of the house so we're gonna go do that we always go to the dollar store first to get snacks and treats um, I don't know if that's like the most ratchet thing to do, but I feel like everyone does that. You cannot really expect us to pay $30 for the movie or whatever it is, and then on top of that pay the price to um, buy all the snacks and stuff. So I always take the kids to the dollar store first to get snacks and stuff, so we're gonna do that. I am running low on, on energy. I love to be like a fun mom and all, you know, let's do things, but after a while sometimes, Yes, I get tired, and I just want to go on a vacation, and I just want it to stop snowing and icing and ruining plans. I just want the weather to give me a break. I just want it to okay. stop. Go find what you're going to get. Kylan already said he knew what he wanted. What are you going to get, Kai? Nerds? Ooh. Grab them. Grab what you want. Hmm. What are you going to get, Aj? <laughs> Do you have a go-to candy? Um, I usually like Skittles. Skittles. Uh, I love raisinets or milk duds. I feel like no one likes those candies, but I love them not like because they're low calorie and you can eat like the whole box and not eat a ton of calories, but I just think they're good. What are you gonna get, Mr. Ring Pops? Seriously? No, that not ring pops. Put that back. Not, you need that's like that's too much. Okay. Something else. I dare you to dance. Do it. Should we do like a little aisle dance? only one that can just slay winter and still look be warm and look that cute like really right now girl so cute you guys want to see how Audrey styled her outfit today head to my Instagram because I uploaded her styling vid on my feed and it is adorable what are you going for dude Hershey kisses the slow grab is that what you're getting <laughs> yeah <laughs> I didn't even know you liked Hershey kisses. okay we got the goods we got the goods and I got the movie theater bag. Everyone has a movie theater backpack. You know, the one that can fit everything. You know they know. There's no way they don't know that we're smuggling things in. I don't even know why they put those signs up that say don't bring anything, because it's like, your snacks are like atrociously priced. There's no way we're gonna spend all of our coins on snacks. Attempting to sneak an entire cup of coffee into the movie theater. We shall see if this actually works. Okay, we're looking for number 11. Come on, Kai. I feel like that'll be the first one. I think right it's there. 11. Oh, look at that yeah. That's the first one. This way, we're going in here, buddy. Come on. Yeah, I don't think it's out yet. I think we'll see that soon, though. Ooh la la. Okay, so we're looking for row 8. Hello friends, a new day. I completely forgot to do a recap with the whole movie thing. Uh, I just realized I never came back and like talked about what we went to see and what we thought about it. But we went to see um, Doolittle and it was really good. The kids loved it. I will say it was a little, Maddox said it was a little scary. So if you have like a younger kid, there's like a few thematic, I mean nothing terrible, but there's like one scene that has like a dragon and Maddox thought it was a little scary, but he was not traumatized by any means. It's a really cute movie. I highly recommend going to see it. Um, but yeah, I'm just hopping on. I was just hopping on to say that I now have to run and get a child from preschool. So 
Oh, you guys, these vlogs sometimes I feel are so repetitive because I'm not that interesting and I don't really do anything that different. Um, but, you know, I do enjoy sharing. So, here we go. Hello. So, I'm off to a random... <laughs> I'm going to go get some balloons blown up for a campaign I'm working on. Uh, sometimes I get these creative ideas and I like to bring pictures um, to life. I don't know. I just, I have this vision in my head, but it involves me getting balloons. So stay tuned for that. It is another snowy day. I don't know if you guys can even see it. It's snowing hardcore. Okay, so I got the balloons for my project. Um, I feel so silly. I went in to ask them if they could blow these balloons up for me. They're actually like these little letter balloons. And she was like, um, actually, you just blow those up yourself. It comes with like this little straw thing. I hadn't even opened it until I got in there. She was like, these are too small to even put helium in, so you just use this little straw thing. So I felt kind of silly, but that's okay. Um, because I needed to go there for the other balloons anyway, so. Ah! Sometimes I'm so extra. So extra. they have now so I just found this spicy vegan queso you guys know I make my own queso normally but I'm lazy so I think I'm gonna try this and see how it tastes um, they also have a French onion dip so I'm interested to know how that is and I've heard about this and I'm kind of afraid to try it just egg it's supposed to be like scrambled eggs but like vegan like plant-based I don't know how I feel about this I'm like should I try it I don't think I'm gonna try it <laughs> No, I'm not vegan, but I do like to eat um, dairy-free, meat-free, because my stomach just feels better. I would say now it's about 70% of the time, not even 90%, but anyway. I'm also afraid to try shredded vegan cheese, because every vegan cheese I've had has been terrible. But you know what? I'm going to try this and see how it is. Guys, these things are so good. I bought a bag the other day, and I ate the entire bag in one sitting. These are so good, oh my gosh. Okay, so it's girls night and I'm in charge of bringing wine and this is when I wish I knew a little bit more about wine. I'm supposed to bring a white wine or a rosé. I like rosé so I think I know which rosé I'm gonna get but I don't know anything about wine, like at all. I know what I like but I don't know why I like it so I really wanna learn more about wine. Okay, this looks decent so maybe we'll go with this. Why is it that I always get the tiniest basket when I have way too much stuff? And I always, it's like I wanna, I'm like, I came in for two things. I'm definitely gonna get two. And then I end up with like way more. And I'm just <laughs> struggling. Okay, so this is me being extra and setting up a little photo shoot um, for a campaign I was working on. A lot of time on my Instagram, I like to just put up normal everyday pictures that are more in the moment but then sometimes I like to sort of plan pictures and this was an idea I had so um, yeah I went all out for it um, head to my Instagram to see the final product it'll be up in a little bit planned this whole outfit so that we would match because she has a sweater just like this and overalls but guess what we can't find her sweater anywhere <laughs> where's your sweater this is so me I'm like oh, digging wait. through baskets this is so my life right now I'm like digging through clothes I'm like where's the sweater we just need it for a photo shoot where is it Aj? I think it's in that messy room of yours no offense but I think I think that it is ultimately somewhere in here I'm gonna look I am gonna go in here and I'm gonna look because I don't know where else it would be did you look in your actual drawer don't worry I'm not gonna show the mess it has to be somewhere <laughs> guys this is the reality are you serious right now what I thought you said you looked in here baby I did look in here. Well, it's 
okay. Problem solved. It's all good. Now you can get it on. And we're okay, good to success. Get... Yes. Thanks, Hodge. High five. <laughs> oh, also, can we just take a moment? This whole outfit is so cute. I love when we match. Twinsies. <laughs> Why do I always do that? I always do. I should just smile normal. <laughs> we twins, girl. I love it. Okay, I'm going to be making some guac. If you guys want the recipe, I don't usually brag about my cooking, but my guac recipe is really good. If you guys want the recipe, head to the description box, head to my blog. I did a whole blog post with all the details to my guacamole. Super easy. Also, the Super Bowl's coming up, so if you're looking for a super easy guac recipe, this one is for you. Um, so yeah, I'm going to make that. Even the kids like it, so that's how you know it's good. Even if the kids will eat it. Um, I use the tiniest jalapeno in it to make it not too spicy, but you could totally leave that out. So yeah, blog post, head there, read it, let me know if you like it, and you make it. On to the guac. I just learned the proper way to cut an avocado open. Actually, thanks to my photographer who, my friend Austin, who took pic my picture, my friend who helped me take pictures, um, for the blog post, I didn't. I was not cutting an avocado correctly. So apparently, you cut it in half, and then you take a knife and you go like this. Okay, you go like this, and then you take the pit out like that. See, and then you're good to go. And then you just scoop the avocado out, just like so. And there you have it. Okay, that one didn't go as well. That's okay. Also, this part scares me because I'm always afraid I'm gonna like miss and cut myself. Okay, why isn't it working? <laughs> okay, just watch the last one. I did it right. Now, now it's not working. So, <sighs> what? does it need more salt? No, I think it's good. It's good. It's not too salty. Hurt. Hey, I'm gonna help you, mom. Chorizo, it's so good. Found it at Walmart okay, because I sometimes eat vegan no, because it just helps my tummy. So no, I'm, oh, that's yeah. what I'm having on my. Hey. No hey. fighting. Who seems to think that she has a table place as well? Lila? She's like nobody asked you. Me, please. <laughs> um, girlfriend, no one asked you to sit there. You should get down. That's my spot. What? <laughs> this kid's never had a crunchy taco before. We are ready, Freddie. Oh, I don't know why I'm saying we're ready. We've been eating. Perfect. Also, Arch with the taco holder. I love it. I got these taco holders. I know, she's being silly. These taco holders are game changers. You don't have taco holders? What are you doing with your life? It's okay, just eat your food. What are you doing with your life if you don't have taco holders? What, is that what I was saying? I keep getting interrupted. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off so I can eat and we can have a good dinner together. What every kid lives for, dessert. <laughs> After dinner. Do you need some help, Maddie Bear? I got it. Oh my. Come sit down. Come sit down. <laughs> Come sit down. Did you guys know they actually have bomb pops all year long? No, you don't go upstairs. Sit down. Sit. I'm have... scared. No, you, you have to eat at the I table. Think this is like the healthier type. There's another type that's not as healthy, but these No, I, I don't think I got the no sugar ones. I think I got the ones with the full sugar. So. Mm -mm. They, you can tell? I, yeah, I can tell. Really? It doesn't taste as good. I'm not gonna What? Be Go get the box. I wanna see. Go get that box. This girl. They don't taste as good. Okay, you guys. So I totally forgot to end the vlog last night. So I woke up. <laughs> Clearly. Just woke up. Um, so I'm gonna end it now. But thank you guys so much for watching this week's vlog. Um, if you aren't subscribed, feel free to do that. Also hit that notification button as well. 
And if you aren't following me on Instagram, feel free to do that. Um, I love interacting with you guys throughout the week. In between the vlogs, I also obviously love interacting with you through the comments, but um, also on Instagram through messaging and, and just, it's just a fun community. So if you aren't following me there, be sure to do that. Thank you guys for watching and have a magnificent, amazing, relaxing weekend.